News 8's Brittany Lewis is live at Bankers Life Fieldhouse with this story. Michael Brown will be walking into Bankers Life Fieldhouse later today to see Garth Brooks. He'll do that again tomorrow, twice on Saturday, and then again on Sunday. But that isn't enough proof that he loves Garth Brooks. Just watch what happens when he talks about him. Well, that was the first time I seen him live. We were only about 15 seconds into our interview about Garth Brooks when Michael Brown started to choke up. Became a fan right off the bat, just had to see him, so <laughs> I'm going to cry, sorry. Just the fact that in the last few years, he is completely... Be be Not long after his wife put on the microphone, she got emotional too. Became the person that he used to be instead of that person that was so depressed and sick and couldn't get out of bed. Michael and Charisma got married in 2002. Not long after, Michael had back surgery, the first of many health issues that would keep him down for nearly 10 years. He spent the better part of Garth's retirement in the bed. An autoimmune disorder, kidney failure, a heart attack, blood clot, and Bell's palsy times three. You know, we all went through a lot of tough times, and he always had Garth's music to listen to. It was just a song for every moment, you know, it makes bad days good and good days better. Michael has spent more than 20 of his days attending Garth concerts. <laughs> There's so much excitement and Energy. Energy and love in the show that it, it's always different. And he, you know, <laughs> he always tries to make every fan just feel loved, special. There was a show in Kansas City that Michael went to even though he was sick. Yeah, he was not about to miss that concert. But we stayed down there for two days so that he could recover before the concert, after the drive, and recover before the drive back. Mm -hmm. And he did that because he loves Garth. And there was a show in Nashville when his fellow Garth fans sent him their tickets when he couldn't get them on his own. It, it, it means so much because I just, I would live at a show if I could. I, I would follow him around the country, the world if I could. He has followed him to many places. In Chicago, Lexington, Cleveland. And now he'll finally get to see him at home. Budville Town, thank you for the music and who he is. Sorry. Michael is feeling much better now. His wife says she'd like to think it's her, but she says Garth's music probably has something to do with it. The couple recently got a puppy and, of course, named him Brooks. Now, Michael has something really cool on his taillights. He put a Garth Brooks logo on his taillights, and he sent a video of his taillights to Garth. You can see how Garth responded in this story on WishTV.com. Ladies. Just love it. We all know how music can move everyone. Oh, yeah. But to have that personal, really deep connection. Brittany, great story. Thank you.